Hello everyone, welcome back to Crucible Storytime Overwatch Edition with the Walmart Chronologue Manga 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 Walmart Stories, haha, <laughs> part 4 I think, fuck, okay, so, again this one's gonna have to do with price matching, because I always get the best fucking stories of price matching, if you don't know what price matching is, uh, I'll leave a link to my previous video talking all about price matching and how fucking infuriating, but it's, you know, something Walmart prides themselves on just as much as Target does, just as much as GameStop does, so, price matching. Am I right? Fuck that shit. It's annoying. I mean, I use it when it comes to super deals. Like, if Walmart's selling stuff... Like, if, if Walmart's selling Coke for 5 bucks a 12-pack, and I see that Jewel Osco's got it for, like, 4 for 10, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take that deal. I would like 4 12-packs for $10, please. That's when I use price matching. I usually never do it unless it's for Coke. I love me and my coke. So, uh, okay, Th this price matching ordeal, I I've told you before how I've been screwed over by people that I really trusted and I thought, oh, you know, you must be telling the truth, I'll give you this deal, oh, you must be telling the truth, I'll give you that deal. Naivete is fucking stupid in Walmart or in any fucking, um, in any retail sense. So there was a woman who was checking out all of her stuff and I gave the usual spiel of all the things that you're not price matching, put that shit up front. Everything you're price matching, put that shit in the back because it's usually produce anyways. So she gave me like, she had a, a whole cart full of stuff, including the bottom drawer. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be a long order if she's gonna price match this. She price matched actually nearly everything. She gave me like five things that weren't price matched. And I was like, oh boy, this is gonna be a while. She's like, oh, you know, this is on sale for 33 cents. I was like, yeah, I know that one. All right, this one's on sale for three for a dollar. I was like, yeah, I know that one too. She'd be like, oh, you know, this this one, uh, tomatoes are on sale for this price, this price. And I was like, do you have the article at all? She's like, no, I don't. I was like, well, I'm here to lecture you right now. You need to have that article or else uh, if I don't have it on this cheat sheet, you're probably lying to me. So if it's not on the cheat sheet, we have all of the weekly fucking magazines to the left of the counter that you have to manually fucking flip through to be like, oh, why, yes, you're right, or, hmm, I think you're lying. So, I caught her on a couple of lies, I will admit. I'll say, bitch, tomatoes were on sale last week, motherfucker! Not this time, you're gonna have to pay full price for these tomatoes. Um, but... At one point, and she kept going on with it. She's like, oh, come on, come on. I, You know, I need to get to work. You know, we need to get this going. Come on, I need to get to work. And I'm just I'm just like, okay, well, I'm trying to get this done as fast as I can. I'm pretty qualified in price matching by now. I mean, shit. I, I've been doing this for like three months now. <laughs> and, and you think that's not a long time. It, it's a pretty long time when you're a cashier, especially if you're working like, like eight hours a day as part time. So, uh, she kept going and throwing shit at me, like, oh, you know, this is on sale, this is on sale, this is on sale, price match, price match, price match. And I was like, I don't believe you, I don't believe you, I don't believe you. Where'd you get that, where'd you get that, where'd you get that? And be like, oh, Julosco, oh, Costco, oh, uh, Fry's, oh, uh, uh, Albertsons. And I'd be like, all right, pulling out the Albertsons one. You know, you can pay full price and get this over with. And, oh my god, I wanted to stress that to her so bad. It's like, if you just paid full price, you could get to work on time. And maybe not get fired. But no, she's like, no, no, I know the discount's there. I know it's there. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Come on. I, I need to get to work. I need to get to work. And I was like, okay. I'll look through the Albertsons one because it's not on my cheat sheet of common shit that everyone price matches. You fucking weirdo. So I looked at the Albertsons and I was like, I'm not seeing anything. I I'm, I don't believe you. I mean, here's another copy of the Albertsons if you want to thumb through that. I don't have time to thumb through that. Come on, hurry up and just give me the discount already. I was like, oh, okay, I'll get the discount if you get out of my So at this point, she just started pressuring me so fucking much that I got sick of it. I was like, all right, all right, I believe you. Uh, I'm not going to thumb through all this shit. You got to get to work. I don't want you to get it fired on my behalf. Blah blah blah. Nearing the end of the transaction, um, it the the register popped up with too many things 
have been price matched at a low, low price. We're gonna have to get the manager involved. And it'll stop the transaction and say, manager approval, manager approval, manager approval. I'm like, all right, bam, I hit the thing. I hit the light button that shows I need help on my register. Manager comes over and she's like, yo, yo, what's going on? I was just like, ah, oh, this lady needs to get to work and she's price matching everything. And I don't know why she's price matching everything if she needs to get to work and she's already late, she says. He's like, oh, well, uh, this alert means that you've price matched a lot of things and that, you know, it's gone under quite a bit. And I said, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I checked. I checked. I didn't check all of them, but I was like, okay, I checked. They're all there. And she's like, okay, well, if they're all there, types in her code and then leaves. And I'm like, bitch, that notification right there told me that you are a fucking liar. I wanted to scream in her face and say, you know what? Give me all that shit back. You don't deserve this. Go to work. We are a 24-hour store. You can get this on the way back home, all right? You don't have to fucking buy it right now. Have half of this shit spoiled, by the way. Some of this stuff was spoilable. I think she was going to go home and then go to work. If you don't see my air quotes right now, I, I was so goddamn sure she was lying, and I never saw her fucking face again, and I'm glad... And she, people always do this threat to you when you're in retail, where they'll be like, are you new? Um, are you new? I don't, I haven't seen you before. You're so inexperienced. Are you new? Oh my gosh. And I'm like, no, bitch, I'm not new. I know what the fuck I'm doing, all right? I just don't trust your ass. I think you've been here so many times, you think you can just go to all the fresh meat and be like, <laughs> give me the deal. <laughs> I'm getting out of here with not spending all of the money. You're going to fucking Walmart. What does that say about you, huh? You're going to Walmart for your shit. All right? Fuck. Oh my God. So she leaves and I can't help but feel that I've been again, like duped and tricked and, and I, I, oh, I I just had a sour attitude the rest of the day I put on a smile for the customers but I was so fucking pissed the rest of the damn day and uh, that was never brought up again that was the end of that day but it just goes to show that price matching is a fucking bitch it is so goddamn annoying if you truly fucking need it for something that you find outrageous at Walmart, and you know, you find it at a, at a super low price. I'm not saying, you know, you get two cents off for buying watermelon there than here. I'm saying you saved like 30 bucks. Go for it. That's why I do price matching on Coke. Fucking do it. If you do price matching for something you're saving five cents on, go fuck yourself, all right? Go to that store. Because a lot of these stores are right next door. They're right next door. It's fucking Arizona. You drive one block down to that store and get it there. But they always insist on coming to Walmart. They always insist on coming to Walmart and trying to dupe us out of our fucking money. I don't get it. It's one of those things where, you know, I don't really like Walmart that much. I don't like their public image. I don't like a lot of things they're doing. But when it's when it comes to my Walmart, my fucking store that I'm working at, I feel as though there's some integrity to be had. I feel as though there's some defense that you need. Because even our manager said, uh, like our actual store manager came up and he's like, all right, all you, all you freshmen, all you new guys, I want you to know that Walmart is not in the best spot in the world. A lot of people like to throw Walmart up on the news and, you know, shit on them all the time and say, wow, what a terrible store. And, you know, you're going to go to parties and they're going to be like, oh, yeah, where are you working? Be like, oh, uh, I'm working retail. Don't. I, I know where you're coming from. I know how you feel. But you got to. I don't say you got to say this, but you're working at Walmart. And they'll be like, oh, my God, Walmart's terrible. One time I found a rat skull. Ugh. And it'll be like, you know what? That may be. And I understand that because not everyone's perfect. But you know what you say to them? That's not my Walmart. That Walmart is not my Walmart. Come to my Walmart. It's over here at Crossroads and Lanes. Come on, you know, ours is much better. You'll have a much better experience with Walmart if you 
shop with us and not that Walmart, all right? That's, I, I found that message to be great. And just overall, like, wow, you know, this manager really knows what he's fucking doing. And it goes to show that, you know, our Walmart happened to be in the top 10 best Walmarts in the nation. So I would recommend people to come over. And I was a little bit proud of saying, you know, I work for Walmart. And I work for one of the best Walmarts in fucking America, all right? Come, come over to us. I'll sell you some Pocky for $1.50, all right? You can have a jovial time with me as a cashier. It's going to be great. That's my story of the day. That's my Walmart spiel about price matching yet again. And uh, if you like the video, leave a like at the bottom. If you want to see more of this stuff, subscribe for more content. I'm going to try to post as much as I can. It's really hard. Oh, boy. All right. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.